with the full knob, it's going to really Good. bother you. Part of the chair. Okay, you need another thing that's part of the chair. Too, we're live. Oh, we're live. Oh, great. Everything's breaking. Um, but we got a new camera. Hope you guys like our, our lighting. Should be a little bit better. Um, yeah. We're laggy. Anyway, hopefully this is working. So we're trying out new things. So speaking of new things, we got the door fixed. And I have to just show you guys some of this stuff. <laughs> right? We are going to check this out. Check this out. Watch this. This is so funny. Yep. Oh, wrong door. <laughs> oh, no, what's going on? <laughs> it's no, really? Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Marley figured it out. Oh, she she got wind right there. This is a good one. Lorenzo's pissed. Like, what's going on? <laughs> and look at these idiots right here. These guys really didn't figure it out. Look at them. Like, whoa, uh, let me in. Let me in. Gooch is like, can't you read, idiots? <laughs> Open the door. the door. Oh, they found it. There we go. Now they came in. It's a little early. It, you know, it's still dark out. This is a good one here. Donovan gets mad. It's like, open. Open. Oh, yep. Nope. <laughs> Thanks for participating, guys. Um, so we got the door fixed. It's not going to hurt anybody anymore. Next so, month, we'll change it randomly. Yeah. Yeah. It, we have new sound effects. <laughs> new door. Yay, new door. New door. All right. So first things first, we got to talk about the open. We're 10, nine days out. Nine. Single we digits. Are... Close. In the single digits, yeah. Single digits. In How our, many people do we have signed up? Our signups, I think, are also in the single digits. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a little disturbing. So we're just kind of curious. I've heard some really stupid excuses. <laughs> <laughs> like lame, lame excuses of why you haven't signed up for the Open yet. So if you guys are watching this, Put your lame excuses of why you didn't sign up in the open <laughs> in the comments, because we we really want to hear. What's this. the lamest one you've heard? Um, well, I don't buy the ones with like I don't have twenty dollars. That's crap, yeah. right? It's it's not about the twenty dollars. So don't don't tell me I'd rather buy beer than um, spend twenty bucks. Yeah, I, I bet you the moment they're like, oh, it's Friday night, let's go out and go get something to eat. Oh, everyone's gonna hop on that one. Oh, right, yeah, twenty bucks, forty bucks, yeah, yeah. Bucks, eight bucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not going to the CrossFit games. Like, oh, we, we yeah, have, come on. I'm not competitive or anything. That yeah, really, like, yeah. Me off. Chad's not going either. Hello. Come on now. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's not about going to the CrossFit games. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean... What, I heard, like, oh, I'm not going to get my money's worth. It's only three weeks this year. That's uh, better, I think. I'm, I'm going to actually like the three-week thing. Um, You're really fishing for anything. Yeah. Yeah. I get I get injured 24-7, and I'm, I'm signing up for the Open. Yeah. Keanu yeah. knows how, many, how much I get injured. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, almost every day when I get out of bed. <laughs> yeah. Roll my ankle. Yeah, I know. Hit my head. Always hear it in the morning. Ow! <laughs> 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 that's the alarm clock yeah it wakes me up at four o'clock <laughs> i i think one of the most common ones maybe they don't say it but they're like oh i'm not fit enough right i can't compete like i can't do mrx or whatever not only do they have scaled versions of the workouts but it's not about competing with the rest of the world it's you're gonna do things during the open when you have a judge and you have people cheering you on, you're going to do things that you didn't know you could do. There's wasn't a lot that, more categories, too. Yeah. Wasn't that the Open? It was meant for that, right? It's exactly what it's meant. It was meant, meant so that yeah. you could compete with the top, the best of the best. It doesn't matter what shape form you're in. Like you, It would give you an opportunity to be on the same platform as those big guys. And what other place do you get that opportunity? There's yeah. no other sport that no. yeah. does that. It so. blows my mind why we yeah. don't have 80 people signed up for this thing. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, especially after last year we had so much fun yeah. doing that we had an incredible turnout uh it just doesn't doesn't make sense to me yeah. but anyway maybe you guys are just procrastinators we'll get everybody signed up in the next mm -hmm. week or I need my team yeah I need my team best. he's got like, i have what, the winning team everyone should be signing up for my team right right I'm the winning team 
I don't, I'm not I'm not above shaming anybody. I think that's kind of what we've been doing. This whole time. So post your lame excuses in the comments. We want to hear it. Yeah, <laughs> we want to hear it. We want to yeah. hear, hear it. Post yeah. the lame excuses, we got, and then right after, we got after, the go popcorn the, ready. So <laughs> yeah, and then go right to games.crossfit.com and sign up. There we go. And then hashtag Team Chad. Team Chad. Team Keanu. We're gonna run him back, and then we're gonna get the sweet and this one. Yeah. On my team, sir. So we actually had a real topic to talk about Did we today. Know? Right here, remember our pyramid? <clears throat> right here. So we've done nutrition. We've done meta metabolic conditioning. You guys did gymnastics without me. Can't really say I blame well, you. Well, you were doing gymnastics. Yeah, I, I mean, was like, practicing my hey, muscle up. I'm practicing, you know? Put in the work. My shoulder feels much better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How'd that hospital yeah. bill go? No. I'm insured. Okay. Right? Okay. Now we are on weightlifting and throwing. So there's a reason this is shaped like a pyramid because all these things have more important, right? So the nutrition is the most important, metabolic, you know, so on and so forth. So weightlifting, throwing, don't let the throwing thing kind of throw you off. It's about moving objects. What? <laughs> don't let it throw you off. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I am that good. Wow. I am that good. Very punny, Mike. Yes. It's about <laughs> moving objects, whether it be a kettlebell, a barbell, or a soccer ball. A wall or, bar shots. You know. A rowing. A baby, you know. Baby shot. Baby. <laughs> no, like if you're going to shake a baby. Poor Lucas. Poor Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't watch this. So, Yes. Um, shaking babies is moving objects. Don't shake babies because you can meet him. Anyway, so it is very, very, very important. Now on top of moving your body in gymnastics, now we're moving objects. Like uh, just the other day, did you hear the story about the car fell on the old lady and the CrossFitter came and lifted up the car and saved the old lady? Yeah, it happened every day. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it did somewhere. Um, oh, is that a true story? <laughs> Where are you going with this? <laughs> you guys take over. <laughs> Weightlifting. Weightlifting. That was something that we really struggled with, and I think that was something that we needed severely in our life to be better at what we do. So we actually got a specific weightlifting coach, and you can kind of tell your journey of it with weightlifting and like how you started and what your numbers looked like and how important it was to your fitness. Oh my gosh. From now and so when did we um what year did we start? Fifteen. With Diane. Fifteen. Yeah, I mean for me when I started like weightlifting with her, it was more just like pull and pray. That was the one thing she actually said. It's like you really like just throw a dart in a dark room and hopefully and nails on the dartboard. Like it's more just like a, it was like a, let me say like a guessing game for me, whatever I was like both lifting, yeah, for both of us, yeah, and really like the whole how many years did we two three two three? Two, two years yeah, it's like incredible difference in those two years. Like I went from a one eighty five snatch to now I have three hundred two eighty five snatch. Damn, that's he loves that. Different. Yeah, I know 300, I think right? the biggest but, thing, too, yeah, that Diane, major difference. Diane told us is skill transfer and how weightlifting is almost everything we do. Yeah. Um, every movement we do, from a kettlebell swing to a box jump to burpees, it's going to transfer over to your weightlifting. Mm -hmm. So movement just transfers over from one to another. And if you could get those movements down, they are, if you look at skill level, we have clean and jerk and snatching. They're up there. And if you can master those two skills, then everything else below it is going to become so much easier. So it's that basic core to extremity principle. Correct. Right? You're yeah. taking that power from your core, strongest section of your body, putting it in a barbell or a car that's on an old lady. It's all the yeah. same. Mm -hmm. You know what? I actually trained someone um, at home. And this one day we just did lifting. And at the end of the session, he was more sweaty, more tired that day than going through a uh, some Metcon that we do. Oh, yeah. And he was like, why am I so sweaty? My heart rate's not even up super high. It was like the amount of power, balance, and just, you know, all everything involved just gets you so 
fatigue. Yeah. And I think you work our, every part yeah, of fitness. Our toughest days, I feel like we're in like San Francisco. Yeah. Those sessions, like those, like I'm gonna say it. It sucked in the point like it was probably way worse than like a traditional like Metcon here or like Metcon there. Right? Yeah. When you think of weightlifting, different. don't think of lifting heavy weight. Look at weightlifting as a form of art and a movement. If you look at it that way, then you're not going to load a bunch of weight onto the bar and just make it look stupid. Okay, yeah. Slow it down. We add snatches over both of us at the time over 200 pounds, and we worked with the barbell for a whole hour. I remember looking at that clock. I was like, when are we going to load weight? Yeah. And she, didn't, she had us go up to 95 pounds that day, mm-hmm. and we stayed there. The, for the yep. two-hour sessions that we were um, doing. And I so, was beat. <laughs> yeah. we. I was just like, okay, this is why we're just using the barbell. But yeah, find your positions, getting those positions down correctly so that way you can lift heavier. Okay? Don't lift heavy in the moment. Just focus on your positions in the moment. And then the, li- the heavy lifting will, will get there. I like it. I like it. I want to hit this button really bad. What is it? DJ Airhorn. Go ahead. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of clowns. <laughs> oh, all right. You guys rock. So next week, we are going to talk about sport. Super cool. You guys want to weight lift? Tuesdays, Thursdays, right? 5 p.m. Not so shameless plug. <laughs> yes. And to be honest with you, I've, I've gone behind your back and asked everybody in your class what yep. they think of it. And nothing but raving reviews. Really? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm just going to pick on Sydney, uh, for instance. She's so committed to working out her nutrition. And now that she's added on the weightlifting, she's made huge, huge strides. And I just watch her during the, the regular workouts and she's moving incredibly well yeah, and she is. she is becoming a monster i like it yeah, super excited. good yeah. For yeah so we'll see you guys next week you like sydney mm-hmm. definitely she signed up for the open oh she's yeah. she-